This is me, Sampur, and my teammate, Krishna. Uh, we are basically trying to understand how noise progresses through a, a sound wave. Uh, that is, we are trying to generate noise to a clean signal, and then we are trying to clear that noise to observe the difference between the original and the filtered signal. Uh, for the purpose of filtering, we are using the bean bridge filter. Actually, we tried using different filters as well, but we found that bean bridge works the best. Uh, and it is more diverse because it can understand more files. Uh, so for the purpose of understanding this, the type of file that we are using for noise uh, generation and as well as noise clearance is WAV file, that is wave file, which is nothing but converts noise, uh, the signals that is available into a wave kind of platform and then reads the data and tries to understand it. So before anything else, uh, first uh, before generating the uh, noise, we'll uh, just run this program to see the waveform of the clean signal. So, this is the waveform of the clean signal and as you can see, it starts from uh, 0 to 15,000 on each side. So, I'll uh, request my teammate to explain it. So, uh, in this uh, uh, function, like we have uh, implemented three uh, programs. One uh, is to create a, a noise waveform. Here we will read the clean signal using uh, scipy.io library which is uh, used to like basically generally uh, for uh, input and output files to read the input and output files. Input output python. In, in, in python. Scientific input output python. So uh, first uh, with the wave file dot read function we will read the clean signal and we will uh, take the time uh, like the length and the, the rate at which the uh, audio file is. Then we'll uh, plot uh, all the we'll plot the clean signal. Then uh, in the uh, noise yes. thing. So, so as you can see, there is one sli uh, slight warning here. Wave file warning. Chunk of data not uh, understood. This basically means that this clean signal has certain part of a waveform that is not being understood by this uh, particular library function. Mm -hmm. We can. Uh, Try to avoid this, but when we avoid that, we found that the quality of the waveform was compromised a bit. So we decided to go through with this working because this is not the main part. So now, before he explains the next code, I would just like to uh, 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 show the file to you. So, so this uh, actually this step we are showing is important because the uh, wave files that we download, we have to keep it in the same directory as the program. Otherwise, it will not be able to read the file or we will have to give the entire address. So, and this is clean signal that we are using. So, before, so that we know the... <coughs> is it audible? Yes. This is the signal that we are using. It's basically a piano note. Okay. So, this is the input signal. Huh? This is the input signal. Sir. First, we will generate noise from this signal and then we will try to clear out the noise so that we can observe the difference between the original clean signal and the filtered signal that we are obtaining. So, this you are adding noise? First, we will add noise, then we will try to remove the noise. So, because this is kind of like a way of encryption and decryption. So, we will uh, we are trying to understand how uh, uh, effectively, we can, effectively we can remove the noise. So, we will just run this noise function. Before I explain the code, I'll just uh, show you in this case is the noisy signal. We have to convert it into 16-bit format because the normal format is not understood by the, most of the players that exist today. Mm -hmm. So how that will happen, my friend, uh, my teammate will explain sometime. So this is the 16-bit noisy signal. As you can see, nothing is audible. This noise you have to add to the signal. Already added. Sir. added so okay. uh, basically, After that adding this distortion you are getting. Yeah, only distortion. So, uh, if you just copy this name, uh, press two, press three, uh, and if you try to plot it, most probably this will not plot properly. But just for the, so if I guess press play, it's in bit. Uh, because you not change the clean signal, nothing is visible. But uh, you can see everything is covered with. So, change this to noisy signal here. Noisy signal, and we'll press play. Uh, so, as you can see, because this is created in the program itself, it's not able to find it. So, uh, at 
actually we have the waveforms before because we had to create the program, we have to save it and uh, I actually have the waveform saved with me. So this is the clean signal. Clean signal as you can see there is nothing, no noise or such. In this signal, uh, in this noise, in this uh, noisy signal, uh, we can see the interference of the noise on top of the uh, actual signal. So the actual signal, is actual the signal is the blue one. On top of that noise is superimposed. So we will not be able to see the actual signal here. Okay. okay, okay. So now uh, he'll explain how the noisy signal works. Okay. Uh, so uh, first we'll read the uh, clean signal. Then we will we'll, uh, take the parameters like the length and the bit rate at which it is playing. Then uh, with the uh, NP, like uh, the random normal uh, function, we will create a noise. And uh, uh, it will be the length of the clean signal. Then we have to resize the noise so that it, it has to uh, overlap properly. Like this is basically the addition of frequencies. Because noise and clean signal are almost of the same frequency. We have tried to keep it that way so that when they are of the same frequency, we will not be able to insert the original signal. So we've done that, uh, and then and the finally uh, we create the noisy signal by adding the clean signal, and the noise just be generated from using the clean signal, like the parameters of the clean signal. We are using numpy, that is numeric okay. Python function for that. So then we have to again set the parameters, which uh, so that it ma matches the clean signal. So we uh, we already obtained the parameters from these functions, and we just set the uh, set these parameters to the obtained noise signal. And like I said before, uh, we need to convert it into 16-bit wave file. This is because most players that exist today, they will not be able to play it in the... Uh, 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 like, this is the standard form basically. One more thing, real time you can you acquire and process? Uh, yeah, sir, we can. Already you uh, store data that you are processing and displaying. Uh, uh, I mean, if, uh, if the data is same acquire, yeah, we can do that. Just acquire signal, can you process? We can do that, sir. Uh, uh, wave converter which is at the right speed, we can do this. Uh, and there is one more, one more thing that we have to do, sir. Because normal audio that we take, it's usually in MP3 or MP4. Mm -hmm. We'll have to convert uh, it into wave, wave form. form. So once that is done, it should, the speed should be very high. Not necessarily, sir. The okay. real time data it should be able to capture and transform it into wave. Okay. Because this, this, this works fast. Okay. So now we'll go move on to the noiseless. Mm -hmm. So this is filtered signal uh, dot wave. We'll run it. Uh, it's running. Running is done. So before he explains how it works, I'll just show you. This is the one that we, we should be obtaining. Uh, this is 15,000 now. Uh, when you do this, this is the filtered signal. As you can see, certain parts of the actual signal are also varied and it goes from 15,000 to 30,000. Basically, what we are doing is in the attempt to uh, remove the noise component, we are actually amplifying the parts of the component that is not noise. Because of that, you can see that the peak has shifted from 15,000 to 30,000. During the filtering process, what percentage of information we are losing? Uh, actually, it's actually quite significant. So, because while removing the unwanted signal components, we mm -hmm. uh, want to also remove the yeah, actual signal. Yeah, actually, it's, it's a bit significant, sir. So, so uh, because you are passing the noisy signal, probably that's why the error is happening. We just try to uh, pass the 16-bit signal that you obtained. Mm -hmm.